Welcome to Sheni Vachamishi. Uh, the Baal Shem Tov says everything in life is a lesson, take out a lesson in a Vedas Hashem. So I was walking and uh, bumped into a guy I know. He's sitting with his friends, having a meeting. And then um, I hear, you know the words you, hear, you overhear, and hello, goodbye. But you overhear him say, all these guys who claim to be connected, a, a, a lot, uh, most of these guys are, are full of shit. So the idea of Avodah Hashem is that uh, when you have so many big, big Gedele Hadar and Rebels in the Chesid Shavelt, the Gedalim I like because they're, they're, it's, it's uh, education, it's not charisma, it's not, uh, they don't claim, oh, I'm from this family. Although many can do that, it's an influence that comes from Hasidism and it's primitive. It shouldn't be that way. You don't go to a doctor because he's, uh, he's, uh, he's rich or because he's from a hush of a family, he's Geja. You go to a doctor because he's a professional. You don't go to a doctor because he's Hamish or because he's a Yid, not a Goy. Or because he's a Goy that, uh, uh, that has a, a, a Muna in some sort. That is, a, um, that is very prevalent in the times of the Torah, in the times of the Chumash, or in the times that it was written, that you wouldn't, uh, even the intermarriage was because you might uh, be Oive Delikim Achedim. You might go with the, with the women of the uh, Moyov, to, uh, and Midian to serve their gods. But obviously it doesn't mean that you're going to meet a, a, a foreign woman and she's going to actually take you to her god because science figured out that all other gods don't exist. Only our god exists, right? So, no pun intended. So I'm mixing sugar in here because it, I like this sugar in here. Yeah. So so the, the, the problem is that these... these um, um, uh, 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 the Amim, right? What they're going to do is they're going to bring you to their Galachim, to their priests, to their, to their Kohanim, Kohen Midyon, Yisrael, and all those other, you know, like the. You can get a little bit of an idea of what was going on. So they'll bring you to those Mishagayim and you're going to give them stuck to, to do some type of uh, practice, right? And that's the issue here. That's that's the issue. The issue is that you're not going to go meet their that their, you're going to meet their elilim, but you're going to go meet their kohanim. Because there's no such thing of elilim without a structure, without an organized system. That's a bubba said. It's not that they run into the forest like the Baal Shem Tif and say alts is alikus and alikus is alts. That's not the, the type we're talking about. Drinking alikus. The, the, I'm doing a, a video review I do every Monday and Thursday. Sometimes I miss the day. So, um, yeah, I was going to say that the, they look good on your face, but I don't know if the lens is good for your for your looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, she's sleeping. Yeah, my uh, Rose, she's 10 months. Yeah, that's it. Oh, she took her a while to fall asleep. Took her a while. Your yeah, my daughter. Ten, my first. I'm uh, 35. Yeah. yeah, my first. I'm trying to keep the. It shouldn't. I, it's gonna lose the. I grew up Hasidic, so uh, I had Yiddish. So with Yiddish, we can go to the German very easily. So they would say "gerade uh, aus," and that means in Yiddish we'd say "gruid." Uh, "Gruid" means straight. And uh, "stunde" was our. But we used Yiddish is mixed with Hebrew and Russian. It's a peasant language. So it was hard, but we got it. And they said, "But then, like many, like chutzpah, chutz, you, you, yeah, yeah. German, you use it? Yes. It's a Hebrew, right? Chutzpah. Yeah. yeah. There are many words. I have a French Jewish, and she says, "Well, I. That's a word, or she says."